Guys, before we get into today's video, I need to let you guys know that this is the last day that you guys can go join in on the Yeezy giveaway. Four pairs of Yeezys I'm giving away, 9, 10, 11, 12. The last day to join in on this giveaway, you need to check down below in the description, check the link, go join in. It's your last time to get these pair. Trust me today, it's your last day. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Y, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a very special vid. Today's video, guys, is a back to school clothing haul. Today guys, we picked up some dope pieces over at Minimal where you guys can use the code TONY10 to get 10% off on your order. I will link down below in the description every single item that I picked up here. This whole entire order cost me $607 and it came with some very dope pieces. As you can see everything right here, we picked up some stuff for the summertime, for the fall time, and a little bit something for the winter fall. So guys, everything will be linked down below in the description. I wanna go through each and every item and also kinda of show you what they'll be paired with pretty good, something I wanted to pick up. If you like anything here, like I said, it will all be down below for you to click and go and pick up. I am 5'8", 170 pounds. So when I go through all this and I tell you the sizes, you can kinda of get an idea on how these things fit. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks, and let's get straight into this video, man. Lego. First things first, we're gonna start over here on the pant side. One thing for the perfect season right now in the summer is the six pocket shorts, six. You got one, two, three, four, four on the front, two on the back. This is made of the same material that those cargo pants that I picked up last time were made out of, which is a nice, something like a polyester and maybe more nylon. Let me see if I can find it yeah, right here on the material. This is a 65% cotton, 35% polyester. This thing is a overall real nice piece. You have these straps right here, which you can just tighten up the shorts. You don't really need a belt. Well, it doesn't even have, it doesn't really have loops around it to put a belt. So it's all right there. Everything you need is right there. So something dope for the summertime to keep you nice and cool and have the ladies, you know, drool. And these are a size large. So, you know, I went with a size large, medium, probably could fit that as well. However, I was more concerned about them, the shortness of them. I didn't want them on my goddamn highs. I didn't want to wear, you know, the UPS shorts. Even though highs are is in style, but I like it right at the knee. Like literally, like right there. It needs to be there. Next up, we got right here. These are the cargo pants in black. And let me make sure I say this right because I could be wrong. These are the L133 denim. And they're cargo pants at the same time because they have the cargo right here. They actually have these in two different colorways. I believe they have like a tan version as well. And the bottoms are distressed. There's really no like seam on it. They're really this loosey goosey you can see right here. Super exquisite. I like that a lot. You have that cargo this going on with these little straps, like some straight up like Lieutenant military shit. Like I, I could put a shotgun hanging right there on the kneecap and just be ready to go on some Terminator stuff. If you know, if it gets like that. These are a size 34 and every single pair of denim that I get from Minimal, fits perfect when it comes to the sizing. 34 is what I wear and 34 is what usually always fits on me. But these right here are exquisite. You can never go wrong with too many black jeans, especially the way they fade. You know, black jeans don't last forever like every other jean out there. It tends to fade, but you know, if you wash them right, they can last for a very, very long time. And even when they fade, they can still look dope if you, you know, have no other style them. Next up, we got right here, this is the M1 vintage denim. Now I have another pair of M1s, but I don't think it was in the vintage colorway. It was more so just a regular blue jean denim. And it's the ones that they're, they're very just simple, like the original styled blue jean denim. A little bit light. You have the distressing right there. Has that yellowish hue to it, which is the vintage look. They make them look like they're more old school styled and they're dope. You know, they have the zippers on the seams right there. Zip them, style them how you want. The taper is always nice when it comes to how minimal does it, Thug Dizzle. Um, with me, one problem is I'm short. I am 5'8", you know, six foot is pretty much average. So sometimes when these get these pants, you know, my knees are not here. My knees might be like, my knees be like up here. So my legs are showing. So hopefully when I'm doing the arm um, body, these fit right, we'll see. Uh, one thing about minimal, some of they, some they, they do offer th like usually like the 34, 32, 34, 30. Sometimes they only just offer you just the waist itself. I would say I'm probably more so on the 34, 30 and 34, 32, not 34, 34, but I would say more so 34, 30 was my perfect sizing. But overall, 
these are just a go-to pair of pants. So next up is the Tech Pack pants. The Tech, what's the name exactly on it? Let me make sure. Tech Cargo pants. Now I got these in black, as you can see right here. Black, and I got them in a mint colorway. So they're all mint right there. Cargo. Now I'm gonna put this one back so I can show you real quick. So yeah, you got right here just regular like, you hear it? that material like a nylon? Let me see if I got the material name right here. 100% nylon, so I was right. Nylon, cargo on the side. You have the elastic band here and elastic band there. So you kinda can adjust how you want these things to be. They look pretty like wide off the rip. It's like pretty wide. But if you wanna make them more of a like a, a more tapered look, then you can do so by easily just pulling on the elastic bands right here. You have two cargo pockets, two back pockets, and also two front pockets. You got a zipper on the zipper. I know it sounds funny, but sometimes there's buttons on the zipper and these do offer you to put a belt on it. There is loops all around it. These are in all black. Right here we have the mint. So this is the mint one. Now in this size particular, I got here a 34 on both of these. They offer these in you know regular waist size. Sometimes they might be like a large. Sometimes it's not 34, sometimes it's like a large. So right here we got the 34. This is the first time trying these on. So when you see them on body, this is the first time you know, seeing what I can do with them. They are risky, but I'll take the risk so you guys can receive the reward. You feel what I'm saying? And then lastly on here, this is another pair I was kind of skeptical on. These are, I believe, cargo tech pants or something like These are tactical pants and they're not really, you know, they don't look like your average tactical pants. They're more so loose, very, very loosey goosey fleece type of material. I would say more so of a polyester. So for this one, I don't see any type of material on there telling me what it is, but, but it's very similar to the sweatpants that they offer, you know, well, none of that, the stripe on the side, very similar to those, very loosey goosey. I'm gonna have to see how they look on body to make sure they feel exquisite. These are made in India, where a lot of the other ones are made in China. So you can tell that the different type of materials here, I can smell it, I can tell. It's from doing clothing myself. I know how, you know, clothing is made and all that. So you're gonna have a little bit of loosey goosey going on. I'm looking forward to seeing how these are coming out once I put them on body. These are gonna be a huge hate it or love it. There's not gonna be an in between. So we'll see how these end up. Now moving on to the shirts, I really like some of the stuff out here. Right off the rip we have right here, this is the tactical shirt I wanna say, yeah, tactical tee, and this goes with the tactical pants. So this is a perfect match. Both of these are a dusk colorway, and you have here like a patch saying the name, service, contact, size. This is a size large, and these are also made from the same place. So these should match pretty good. This would probably be a fit itself, however, I'm gonna probably mix them around when I do the outfits, just to have something different, not one color solid, mix it around a little bit. But overall, these are exquisite, man. This is a size large right here. And by the way, this cargo, this right here is a size medium. So this is a medium right here. But this is very big for a shirt. I mean, it looks kind of wide body, but I was going for that. You know, I like, I like the oversized look. However, I might've been able to go with a medium. We'll find out and see how it looks on body. And you guys tell me when you see me on body, whether or not I should have just went, you know, with the medium. After seeing that tactical tee, I had to pick up the black version as well. This is the black version, real nice, basic. I love this little patch. The patch feels nice. It's stitched in, like I said, it says name, service number, contract number, size, cleaning instructions, dry clean for best results. If cleaning is not available, hand laundry in lukewarm water, use mild soap, squeeze, suds, through garment, do not rub or wring. Dry at normal room temperature, do not remove this label. So they're going for some, some of those type of vibes, you feel what I'm saying? Then you got here the bandana button up. I had to go for something like this. Like I like the bandana tees in general. I just don't like the blue and red because it's too gang affiliated. You feel what I'm saying? Like I got I, I got too many family members who who passed away to that violence. I can't. I just don't. I try to stay away from that type of stuff. You feel me? I'm trying to be a good boy. But I do like the black one, even though black is OG, you feel what I'm saying? The GD and all that, but I don't look at that, okay? I do like the bandana the whole thing. It's nice. I like the faded look. It's dope, you know what I'm saying? A vintage type of look. It looks like it's been washed a lot, a lot. So we'll see how this thing pops. It is something exquisite. It is something nice. I don't know if you guys will be able to wear this in high school. Though. They might kick y'all ass out of school. Like, they might kick you out for real. I know they didn't play that back when I was in high school. Anything like that, yo ass out of there. And then last but not least, definitely more of a fall slash winter vibe. You have this suede trucker. And by the way, let me get this once again. This t-shirt, this is a size large, my bad. We have the trucker right here. This is a size medium suede trucker jacket. Now this thing is super soft, like a bamboo's ass. Smells great too, by the way. You have a neoprene inner liner on here, so it's very, very comfortable. Very nice feeling all around on this top. Very stretchy. The suede is nice. I'm pretty sure this is more of a polyester, so it's not like 100% suede. It's more like a fox suede. It's polyester, so just know that when getting it. It is very heavy though. It's not flimsy. It doesn't feel 
fufu. It feels like legit and it's heavy and it's nice and uh, we'll have the girls, you know, thinking twice. So I think this is something very dope and these looks like it will fit me perfectly. So I'm looking forward to putting this on. Next up, we got ourselves here. This is a crossbody bag. This is another one of those shoulder bags type of bag, you know, something you can put some stuff in. Really good if you're just walking around, you can kind of just it's like one of these bags, guys. You just put it right here and cross the body, ready to go. If you're in school, if you're out and about, you got, you know, if you're, if you're a vlogger like me, you need to keep batteries on deck, keep your wallet right here instead of on your pocket so you ain't getting pit pocket. Any of the above, you keep it here. You keep your condominiums, your condoms, whatever you need, you keep it right here on your chest, close to your heart. I mean, you can even probably fit your phone in here, yeah. It's a real nice multi purposed pocket, and I just got my dreads in the zipper. Cross body bag. I, I like this. I like this a lot. So yeah guys, as far as outfits go, right off the rip with this trucker suede, I'm throwing this trucker suede on alongside with the tactical tee underneath. However, I would do a tactical tee by itself. But you're throwing these two on and I'm pulling out off the rip the cargo pants. I'm throwing this three together right here, bam, bada, boom, and we're good to go. I mean, you straight, you can throw on whatever type of shoes you want. I mean, back there I got a pair of, I did have a pair of my uh, Maroon 6s. It is a white shoe, but I think the white will help offset it. And we're in a day of age where you don't have to match everything perfectly perfect. You can just rock what the hell you want. But if anything, I could throw on a pair of black shoes. I mean, throw on some Geos, throw on some of the Yeezy 500s. But I think I would go with a Maroon 6 with that one just to make that burgundy twerk a little bit. But you guys can choose at your own pace. But for the tactical tee by itself, I'm probably gonna try this tactical pants. You know what I'm saying? All set, you got the black all in there. So I think matching this with this will be dope. You could go on top this with that, but it's just gonna be a little bit too much. And you can also meet the tactical tee with some blue jeans or just these right here. You'd be really straight with a pair of shorts. However, these shorts can go with pretty much everything. I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna see how it looks. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna throw on something else in the B-roll for you guys to know after it. Like I said, I don't know how these are gonna work out. If I don't like this, you will see another pair of pants with this on body. Now, as far as with the technical tee in dusk, I'm gonna throw this on with the black tech pants right here. I wanna try this out. I like this, all right, you know, throw the black on, you're good to go. As far as this color, I probably got something in there I can rock this with. It's not that hard of a color to find. You can rock it with black at the end of the day if you can't find anything particular. But this is pretty much like a brownish olive, almost like a brownish, yeah, the brownish olive. So you can pretty much just do what the hell you want and be good to go. These, these, hopefully these things come out looking flawless, which I think they will. So you'll see it by the B-roll, what I ended up throwing together for that, but it's not too hard of a fit if you ask me. And lastly for the bandana, you leave it up the bandana, you can throw the bandana on with the blue jeans and be ready to go for your first day of school, you know, whatever, go to your first date with your lady, whatever. You can throw this on right now and you be real ready. You be like straight up in LA, you, you ready to go to, you know, to the beach, straight up. All you need is a slip at that match. I wouldn't do that, but I'm just saying you can do what you want to do. Throw this on with that. You can go with the black cargo. You can go with pretty much everything here except for these two. I would not throw the tech mint. The mints, they're dope, but you gotta find something a little bit more for that. Or you can go with the tech itself. But I think I would stay more so on the blue jeans or the six pocket shorts, depending on what type of vibe you wanna feel and how you want your nuts to feel at the end of the day. So guys, I had to do a quick insert in this video because two items that I actually had purchased didn't make it till a couple days later. And I had to show this to you because these are probably the two best items and newest items now on Minimal's website, which I will also link down below in the description. Yes, the hair, it's ready. Tuesday, I'm getting my hair retwisted, so trust me. This stuff, it's gonna be gone. First things up though is the brand new, and these are, I believe, the Snap 2 Cargo Denim. These are actually not available on the website right now, but it's coming soon. But there is a link to the item, so if you're actually watching this, Maybe today, maybe a couple of days later. If you're watching this video at any time, you can check the link down below in the description and see if they're available at that time. But like right now, currently as we're making this video, the video, you know, as, while we're making it, this thing is saying coming soon. But they're going to be on the website real soon. You have the snaps right there on the leg, cargo denim. I really like how the pockets are in the front right there. It's very similar to how those shorts were that I showed you as well. And the clean, and they look good on the jeans. Mm, good for your spleen. And then next up is the Snap 2 Denim, and this is in black. These are actually available now, which I will link down below. And they have the buttons right there. These are not as high up as the original Snap uh, pants that I've had, the black pair. But you have a black pair, and I think I have an olive pair as well. And real nice, have that little wash, black wash them too. It's not like a pitch black, so it's really nice. And it's something that you really never have to worry about 
getting washed out or just too faded because it's already semi-faded and overall real good jeans as well got the buttons you can kind of do what you want it's more of a look for me i'm not actually using the buttons like i don't pop any of them or anything like that it's more so a look and they're pretty dope i can't complain so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you slap a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will leave you guys there all links down below in the description use the code tony10 for 10% off on your order and I will see you guys in the next video if you want to see some more back to school budget type videos or just budget in general which I'm going to be throwing more at you let me know down below comment down below like yo Tony you want to know $100 jean vid or you know five jeans under under $500 or three jeans for $100 like tell me some type of vids comment it down below and I'm bringing you the budgets back to the channel for you guys out there I love you it's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in checking out peace